This video will show how to configure Selectable Time Interrupt. There are two programs, Normal Routine and Time Interrupt Routine. Double-click Micro 830 to view the Configuration tab. Click Interrupt. Right-click the blue area to add Interrupt. The Interrupt Wizard window will pop up. Select Interrupt Type as Selectable Timed Interrupt, STI. Next, you can assign the program to the STI by selecting it from the Program drop-down list. In the Parameters field, you can choose if you want to make the STI Auto Start or Manual Start. To select Manual Start for the STI, UIE instruction is required. Choose True for Auto Start. Set Point is the time required for STI to be activated. A value of 0ms means the STI is disabled. Assign the set point value at 1000 MS. The STI is now finished configuring to the Time Interrupt Routine program. Next, we will show how to configure Event Input Interrupt. There is one more program called Event Interrupt Routine. This video shows how to assign the Interrupt EII to this program. Similar to configuring STI, double-click Micro 830 to view the Configuration tab. Click Interrupt. Right-click to add a new interrupt. The Interrupt Configure Wizard window will pop up. Select Event Input Interrupt EII for Interrupt Type. Next, assign the program Event Interrupt Routine. Similar to the STI Interrupt, choose True for Auto Start. Input Select covers the embedded input you want to assign as the event triggering input. Choose Input 01. In Connected Components Workbench, you can set the event triggering type, Rising Edge or Falling Edge Trigger. Click Embedded I slash O. From the right-hand side of the Properties panel, you can view Input Latch and EII Edge. Assign Rising Edge for Input 01 to use the Rising Edge from Input 01 as the Interrupt Trigger. Configuration for EII is now complete.